while you work, hey another DIY video. I'm so excited to get into this with you guys since school's going to be coming up for some of you. I know it's not the most exciting thing ever, but we're doing back to school DIYs and I just wanted to do this for you guys to give you some inspiration whether you're going to already start school or if you're not. I just want to help you guys get inspired and I got to get a little head start because I'm going to be having school in like three or four more weeks and I know some of you guys already are already back in school so I hope this is going to help you. And yeah, do you like my new setup? Like I have everything like how the, I'm not my setup, but I mean like my angle I'm filming on. Do you guys like it? But do let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna make this DIY phone case first and I know I showed you guys how to make them before but this one's different. You guys could go ahead to your local Target or whatever drugstore and just print out some pictures from your phone. Then you guys could just go ahead and put them on your phone case. So of course you're gonna want some pictures. They're fairly cheap at Target guys. They're only 21 cents per picture for Express on that day and you guys just go ahead and take a clear phone case. Go ahead and trace it out onto your photo paper and line it up and make sure you will get it to how you want and yeah you just go ahead and cut it out with an exacto knife or some scissors then you guys just pop it into your case and I ended up having to cut another smaller piece at the bottom since I wanted everyone to fit in my picture Elena, Damon, Stefan and Catherine so I had to make all of them fit but basically yeah that's how you guys make it and I hope you liked it Is it just me guys or do you like the Vampire Diaries too because I like it a lot. Let me know in the comments down below. And now we're going to be making this cool keychain for a backpack that's like Polaroid Tumblr inspired. And I just came up with it and thought it would be really awesome. So you guys go ahead and get some pictures. Make sure that the pictures you're going to use are going to be the same size of a square. And you guys could totally cut this square down way more than I did. I could have cut mine and Bethany's legs off more and more at the top. And made these a little bit more smaller so it doesn't look like you have a big coaster in your backpack. Kind of embarrassing. I might have to fix them guys and this DIY is so cool so you go ahead and get like a plastic sheet cover and put some paper in there then you guys go ahead and cut it out use a ruler and basically eyeball it and make it look all Polaroid Tumblr-ish and stuff guys so basically I just put it to where there's a little strip of white on the top and white on the bottom then I just went ahead and pushed that into the plastic and folded the excess over and covered it with duct tape then you guys just go ahead and cover the rest with duct tape as well but before you do that you guys are going to want to get a little hole puncher and punch the side in the corner so you guys could attach your keychain and you guys just slide it right on so you could go ahead and slip that on your backpack because how else are we going to put this on our backpack right and yeah you guys just go ahead and do that and just fold it down and continue on putting all your duct tape on I have to peel a little bit up right there and push it back down guys and yeah that's basically what you do and they look pretty cool and awesome I mean keychain backpack thingy you know it's really cool and stylish I think it looks pretty awesome for your backpack So the most obvious thing to do guys is deck out your binder or your notebooks. I ended up having only this binder. I need to get some school supplies but you basically get some pictures, make your name on paper, get stickers and go ahead and play around with it and just make it look awesome guys. And yeah, that's just what you do when you come out with a really cool personalized binder and include pictures from summer to talk about school memories. Now this one's kind of a life hack guys. If you got these little mini pieces, candy bags, go ahead and wash them out and you guys could just go ahead and put your school supplies in it like a pencil pouch. I just went ahead and put my highlighters in and yeah, it's pretty cool So I really hope that 
you guys enjoyed all these DIYs and stuff I showed you guys. These Polaroid little backpack things are probably my favorite, but like I said, it's a little bit too big, so if you guys want to go ahead and cut it down smaller, it'll look probably way better because these look kind of really big. And you guys could probably double these as coasters too at school if you were in class or something. You could just like pop it out and put it on your desk since there's clear plastic on it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video. And of course, um, if you made anything, send it to me on Twitter and Instagram with hashtag Eric Geary. And if you have not without further ado, I'll see you guys. Wait, before I end it, before I end the video, before I end the video, guys, let me know what your favorite DIY was and what you're looking forward to going back. If you're looking for, hmm. What are you looking forward to going back to school? That's what I said last year, but I don't know, guys. Well, I don't know what to ask you. No one really wants to go back to school. You only want to see your friends, and yeah, just let me know what you're looking forward for. Probably just your friends, right? What classes are you taking? Are you taking any fun electives? Are you going into middle school, high school? What are you guys doing? Let me know. I'll let that in the comment section down below, and we can have a little chat session. And of course, until next time, I'll see you guys then. So hit the water, and we got lots of teal blue going on, and my sunglasses, like, lots of blue. So yeah, hit the water well when it gets loud i turn it on oh,